let's look at measures of spread. So we're going to take a look at the range, the IQR interquartile range, and the sample standard deviation. I copied my data over to a spreadsheet and made those calculations. So a reminder about some of these, your range is always the maximum value minus the minimum value. Your IQR is always Q3 minus Q1. And standard deviation, I prefer to use a spreadsheet to calculate that. It's either going to be STDEV, highlight your data, or STDEV.S. And spreadsheets will get the same value for both of these. Never do a dot P population because we usually just have the sample. So pretty easy calculations for range, IQR, standard deviation, whipping it out on a piece of technology. I've got those numbers here. Now notice I also have the mean in here and I can't interpret the standard deviation without the mean. What does the standard deviation mean? Remember standard deviation is a measure of average spread from the mean. or average distance, let's say. So given its definition, you can't state what the standard deviation means without using the mean, because it's a measure of distance from the mean on average. So I need both of those numbers here. So there's a couple ways I could go about doing it. One is I could just state the mean and the standard deviation, how they're related to each other. So in this case, I'm talking about masses of wiffle balls. And so one answer for that right there could be um, something like, say on average, a wiffle ball, way or mass no more than about 2.2 grams from say 45.5 grams we could subtract the 2.2 from the 45.5 and add it and say we expect the average wiffle ball to be between uh, those two measurements. So what would we get? Um, on the low end, we would get 43.3. And on the high end, we would get 47.7. So we could say on average, we expect most wiffle balls to be between 43.3 and 47.7 grams. Yet another option we could do is use the, uh, you might've learned the two standard deviation rule for classifying outliers. The two standard deviation rule says that for most data, 95% of values will be within two standard deviations of the mean. And that's what I've calculated here for these low and the high values. So the low one is X bar minus two standard deviations. And this is X bar plus two standard deviations. So that'd be a third way I can interpret that. So I could write something like, on average, we expect about 95% of wiffle balls to be between say 41 grams and about 50 grams. So there's at least three ways we can interpret uh, a standard deviation depending on whether we use a single standard deviation in the mean or we use two standard deviations in the mean like the 95% rule. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Do good math.